do golf enthusiasts think when they think of Augusta, Georgia? Well, they think of the Masters Golf Tournament at the Augusta National, of course. Now, you may be wondering, is that the only fancy schmancy golf course in our area? Or are there others that regular people can actually be members of? Well, yes, there are. And there are several golf course communities here that we're gonna go take a look at right now. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna head over to Westlake in just a few minutes and take a look at one of the homes. We're gonna just take a look at the inside of the house really quickly. Really, it's the backyard that's so stunning that I want you to see. The inside is meh. I mean, it's cool, but you know, um, the outside is what I really want you to take a look at. Um, just a couple of stats about Westlake. This is a golf course community. It is gated. We're gonna see some shot of the golf course. They have amenities. They've got a country club there and they have tennis courts and they have a swimming pool. So the golf course is pretty cool. I'm also gonna cut over to a quick little map video that will show you a little bit more of the golf course. So the average home in Westlake is on average four bedrooms, four bathrooms, and uh, 3,700 square feet. And then the average price point in there is about $650,000. Um, of course, you can go upwards of 1.5 million in there. They have homes of all kinds of shapes and sizes. They have two-story brick homes. They have some contemporary homes in one section. They have homes built back in the 80s. And then they have lots that people are holding on to to build homes. So you have a couple of new construction spots as well. And it's just a humongous neighborhood. So you're gonna see a little bit more about that in just a minute. Okay, we're gonna take a look at the map really quickly to see where Westlake Country Club is. So here's Augusta, here's Martinez, here's Evans, and Westlake is actually in Martinez. We're gonna scooch on in here. Let me punch in Westlake. There's a, I know I already told you there was a country club inside um, Westlake. Now they don't have a street view because it is a gated community. I'm going to back out a little bit just so you can kind of see. You've got Evans to Locks Road up here and that goes all the way over into Evans. So even though Westlake is in Martinez, you're really not too far from Evans. You've got a Walmart neighborhood market over here, not far from Westlake. You also have, I believe this way, let's see the Publix at Fury's Ferry. This is Fury's Ferry Road that goes from Augusta down this way up into Evans when you go out that way. So we'll go back up here to Westlake. We'll zoom in and let's see, you've got Pebble Beach Drive. This is part of Westlake, Inverness Way. On Inverness Way, there's some cool contemporary homes. Here's Pebble Beach Drive over here. They've got some pretty beautiful homes in, on that street. Westlake Drive, Box Fireplace. These are all nice, really larger homes, Westlake. I know I've already given you the stats on it, so we won't go through that, but I just kind of want to give you an idea. If you go out this way to Evans to Locks Road, you can very quickly get over to the Savannah Rapids Park in Martinez, which is on, you know, you've got the, the Savannah River behind it. Um, and you can get over into Augusta very pretty quickly um, using here Stevens Creek Road you go down and then here you hit River Watch Parkway, which takes you straight into downtown and the medical center, if the medical center is where you work or where you need to have quick access to. So there you go. That's just a little view of Westlake Country Club. We're gonna cut back over and talk a little bit more about Westlake in just a second. Okay, as you can see, this home has been updated. It's got very neutral colors in here. It's got plantation shutters. This area is not open like in the traditional modern sense to the kitchen. The kitchen is um, separate. I'm going to take a quick peek back here so you can see. Got a little butler's pantry here. Um, and then the kitchen is not a huge kitchen, but it has been updated and 
that's just in, in Westlake, you get older homes that have not been updated, but it's such a desirable area that the price point is still very, very high, even if it hasn't been updated completely. As you can see here, they have more modern light fixtures. The outdoors is what is also just really stunning in this house. We're gonna take a quick peek out here so you can see what I'm talking about. We've got a little fountain back here. We've got a greenhouse back here. So even though it's not a large lot, they still are taking full advantage of everything over here. So homes in Westlake, smaller homes, I would say start at 3,000 square feet, but you can go up to 10,000 square feet in here, especially if you're in the estate section. So there's all kinds of different homes in here, custom homes, mostly were the builders in here back in the day. But um, there are also lots in here where people have purchased the lots and they've just been holding them and may or may not build on them one day. So you can get a more modern house in here as well. So this is one of the nicer neighborhoods in Martinez. There are several other nice neighborhoods in Martinez as well that are higher price points, but this one has a lot of amenities that other ones don't necessarily have. Here we are at the River Club Golf Club, and you can see the golf courses behind me. Of course, there are homes that are over near the water, the Savannah River. This is a really pretty course that's just across the river from uh, downtown Augusta, Georgia. We're over in North Augusta, South Carolina, and we're going to do a little tour through the River Club neighborhood in just a few so you can see the different types of houses they have over there. Homes over there starting in the 700,000s but go up over um, into 1.5 million. Some of them are at 2 million depending on the home. And you are right around the corner from SRP Park, from the baseball park, and um, downtown North Augusta, very, very close by as well. So this is one of the golf course communities in the Augusta area. And we're gonna take a look at a few more shortly. So here we are at the landing at River Club. And these are townhouses that are three level townhouses. You've got the garage on the first floor, that's where you pull in. And then you've got your living space on the second floor and bedrooms on the third floor. These are typically two, two. And um, you can see they've got the cutest little front doors you can walk, look at behind me. They've got little balconies above them. And um, these are super close to the River Club Golf Course. And that's a, literally across the street. You're also right down the street from the SRP ballpark where the Green Jackets play. And you are also right near the Greenway. So you can access the North Augusta Greenway um, for biking, walking, running, whatever, um, just enjoyment for outdoorsy kind of stuff. And then you're not far from downtown North Augusta and also downtown Augusta. So as you can see, this is a neat little area. And then we're gonna head into the River Club so you can see some of the phenomenal houses they have in there. Those homes start probably right around 750, 800,000, and then go up from there. There are several million dollar homes in there. Most of these homes rent for Master's Week, and that's up to two weeks tax free. And um, it's because it's so close to where the Augusta National is, and um, you can just pop over into Georgia and within 10 minutes you're at the Augusta National. So very convenient for Master's rental. All right, now we're gonna just look at some of the homes in the River Club. Okay, here we are in the River Club. As we're driving, you can see some of the different home styles. And on this side of the, to the right, you can see, I don't know if you can see or not, but there's the Savannah River. Um, and across the river is Augusta. Augusta, Georgia. On the left hand side is the River Club golf course that you can see some of. Some of these homes are stucco, some of these homes are hardy plank. Um, there are some brick homes in here as well. These are all pretty large homes. You're talking definitely like 4,000 square feet. 
You may have a few that are smaller than that, but a lot of them are, are pretty, pretty big. To the left, these homes are on the golf course. So they've got the golf course as their backyard. And to the right, you've got the homes that are overlooking the Savannah River and also across the street, looking at Augusta. Not across the street, across the river, looking at Augusta. Champions Retreat. This is the golf course community that is a neighborhood inside a neighborhood. I know I've talked about this one in past videos and Champions Retreat is actually a gated community that is inside another neighborhood called Riverwood Plantation. This is out in Evans and Champions Retreat, the average home has five bedrooms and six bathrooms. The average square footage in there is 5,200 square feet and the average price point is 1.1 million. I think the highest that is sold in there in the last few years was 2.3 million. So that kind of gives you an idea of what the homes are in this neighborhood. Now, we're gonna cut over to the map so you guys can take a look from above what the Champions Retreat Golf Course looks like. And then I'm also gonna talk to you about the membership and all of that in just a moment. Now, let's go take a look at, let me X this out. We're gonna take a look at Champion Retreat. And it's the golf club. This is at the very back. It's a gated area. You can see the different golf courses. I mean, it's it's got three different sections of the golf course um, that you can play. It's the private membership. I know I already talked about this, but I just thought it would be cool to see from the Google map view. Um, and then let me see if I can get down to see some of the homes in here. Let's do the street view. These homes are a million plus. So you're, um, I mean, you've definitely got the privacy back here, the security, the seclusion. It's a manned gate. So you have to have a reason if you're going back there, they will not just let you go look. Now, let's talk about that Champions Retreat golf course. So the golf course there, it was designed by Arnold Palmer, Gary Player and Jack Nicholas, And there are three distinct courses that are there in Champions Retreat to play. If you were interested in a membership, now, obviously, I don't know when you're watching this video and these prices could be totally different when you're watching this video. So reach out to me and I can get more current information or you can go on their website and request that information directly from them. Um, but they have a $40,000 initiation fee and then it's $700 a month after that to have access to that golf course. So that just gives you an idea of that. However, I will let you know that um, the Augusta National Women's Amateur, sorry, is played there. The first and second rounds are played at Champions Retreat before they have the final round at the Augusta National Golf Course. So that is a pretty cool tidbit of information. And we're gonna go on next and talk about Bartram Trail. Okay, we're finally here. We're in Bartram Trail at the golf course neighborhood that I was talking about. And here we are at the brand new construction house that we're gonna to go, go inside and tour and take a peek. And you guys are gonna to get to see some really neat features in this house. So I can't wait to hear what you think. We're gonna get into it right now. Okay, first of all, how cool is that double porch? How beautiful is that, right? and the little landscaping you've got out here. Really, really neat. Now, this house is on a hill. There's the driveway going down, down, down. Those are the mailboxes right there. So that would be pretty convenient to just hop across the street to go to the mailboxes. And then you've got um, just trees and a lot over there. And you've got another lot across this or right next door to you here. It looks like they're gonna be starting another house over here um, soon. So. Let's head inside. Okay, just kidding. Actually, before we go inside, I just want you to look at this awesome deep front porch with the uh, cool shutters that you can use, you can close. All right, now we're gonna head inside. <sighs> so over here to the right, you have an office area with a really pretty view out the windows to across the street. Look at that. And you've got this awesome living room. You've got stairs going up. We'll go up there in a, in a few. 
really neat. Look at those beams. And then this is one of my, I love this. Look at, look at the sliding glass doors. All that glass looking out onto the backyard. You've got a covered porch with a fan out here. Personally, I would screen that in so you could actually enjoy it without having mosquitoes getting you. Okay. Now, I think I'm gonna save the kitchen for last because the kitchen's too cool. We're gonna go, we're gonna go take a look at the uh, primary bedroom and see what y'all think about that. Okay, y'all. This might be my favorite thing about this primary bedroom. You've got doors. Well, okay, that's not a door, that's a fake door, but this is a door to go out to that cupboard balcony that we saw from outside. So you could sit up here and enjoy a cup of coffee. Look at that, or hot tea or whatever you want. Or, you know, if it's summer and 100 degrees, maybe an ice cold sweet tea or unsweet tea. But how cool is that? Right? Love it. Let's go take a look at the uh, restroom. Powder room, I don't know, whatever fancy name you wanna call it. Okay, so here we go. Oh man, you've got that huge soaking tub. What? That thing is humongous. All right, I might have to uh, <clears throat> get in this thing and see what y'all think. Oh my goodness. Now I am, ooh, I'm 5'4", and it's a pretty big tub, pretty cool. Let's go take a look at the shower. Well guys, I was gonna show you the shower in that bathroom, but when I got out of the bathtub, I accidentally hit stop on the record button and I didn't realize it. So. I'm just going to tell you, you weren't missing out on too much. The shower had a tiled floor and it was kind of cool looking, but that was it. So now we're going to pop over to the kitchen because I'm not driving all the way back out to that new construction house just to show you all that shower because I promise you, you're not missing anything from that shower. So on to the kitchen. Okay, y'all, here we are. There, there's the breakfast area. And then now you're gonna see my favorite part of this whole kitchen. Number one, I do really like having an island in the kitchen, but my favorite thing is this six burner stove, what? I am a cook, so I love a gas cooktop. Um, and I love that it's six burners because four is just not enough in my opinion. I also really like this backsplash. What do you guys think about that? Anyway, so now you've seen my favorite parts of this uh, house. Now, I didn't tell you about this house. I think I may have mentioned something about the price earlier in the video, and I was totally wrong. I had not looked at my notes. So this four bedroom, four bathroom new construction home, it's just over 3,000 square feet, and this one is just under 600,000. So that gives you an idea of what new construction it, around this average price point is. I do like from the breakfast area all of the natural light you get in here. I know you're looking right at your neighbors, but you could plant some plants and let them grow up so that you have a little more privacy. I also like that you've got access to the um, covered back porch here with the door from the kitchen slash breakfast area. And then down here, you also have a half bath and laundry room. Um, we'll just take a sneak, a quick little peek. So you can see a little half bath here and um, that's all that's in there. And then you've got the laundry room, which has lots of light. Again, I really like that. And you've got a sink, which is pretty cool uh, for washing delegates or whatever. Or I guess if you have a little puppy dog, this would be a great little place. If you have a teeny tiny dog like I do, my little four pounder would be perfect in that sink. So <laughs> ah, just dropped my notebook. Way to go, Geraldine. All right, good stuff. Hope you enjoyed this. Now we're gonna talk a little bit more about Bartram Trail. Last few things I need to tell you about Bartram Trail. I've got my notes down here. That's why I'm looking down because I don't wanna forget to tell you anything. Okay, so golf course. We're gonna have some shots of the golf course so you can see what that looks like. And then um, the new construction, the, there are several builders who are available in here to build homes. There is Higgins Builders, R. Lewis Construction, 
IDK Homes, which is what this new construction home we just went through, um, that's who built this home, and then Rushmore Homes. I believe there may be a couple of other ones. I just um, can't remember, but I'm sure they'll be on the Bartram Trail website. Also, this neighborhood has a wilderness trust where they have several areas that have protected areas of wildlife and wilderness. Um, areas and then there are nature trails throughout this neighborhood. There is a community pool which you'll see shots of in also a clubhouse here. And then the website for the golf course is um, bartramtrailgolfclub.org and that's where you can find all of the different um, prices for membership. It's a thousand dollar initiation fee as of right now, but of course you can check the website for any updated information. And then for an individual membership after that initiation fee, it's $190 a month. Now, if you are military, they have a discounted rate. It's $170 a month for the individual membership and they have other membership levels available as well. Now, if you live here in the neighborhood, there is no initiation fee they waive that and then it's $150 a month and that's for every member in your household so that's pretty neat they do also have golf leagues here so if you're interested in joining a golf league you can look into that as well I think that's it most of the homes oh I'll just give you the average 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 home here is five bedrooms four bathrooms about 3,500 square feet and um, the average price point is 600,000. And most of the homes here are two-story homes. And we'll have a little driving so that you can see a little bit more of the homes in this neighborhood. So I hope that, I hope that helps you get an idea of this golf course neighborhood and what it kind of looks like here in Evans, Georgia. Now that you've gotten to see some of the golf course communities we have here locally in the Augusta area, I hope that if you are interested in more information about any of these places, that you will reach out to me, shoot me a text, give me a call, email me. I'm glad to talk to you. I know a lot of people think I'm too busy to chat with them, but honestly, I love hearing from you guys. So at the very minimum, you can always comment in the section and I will get to the comments eventually. Sometimes I get behind, so don't hold it against me if it takes a few days for me to get there and comment on your comments but um, I do love hearing from you guys if you're considering moving to the Augusta area know that I've been in the area for over 20 years I've lived to several different places around the Augusta area to include Augusta Grovetown Evans Martinez North Augusta so if you need to know the nitty and gritty reach out to me and I will be glad to share it with you just know that I've got your back when moving to Augusta Georgia